Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to share with you some of our top pros of what you need to think about if you're considering to build your custom dream home. There's just something about the fact that you have built this home from scratch. You've designed it from beginning to end. You've literally created something from the ground up. You've had these amazing ideas of what you want your dream home to look like and it is now standing in front of you and you are walking through it. It has come to fruition. There is just something so incredibly rewarding and gratifying about being able to do that. It's just, it's something you cannot replicate just walking into another house. Just the fact that you have birthed this idea and made it all come together, um, you know. Yes, and it was a tough labor. But, and it was a very <laughs> tough labor, okay? It's a labor of love. We literally have our hearts and souls ingrained in the foundation and the roots of this house. Well, we're gonna take, we're gonna take you somewhere. We're gonna take you to show you something. We're gonna walk to the garage. We will show you something. where we had our last uh, foundation and concrete pour and for that we decided to live a, leave a little imprint. We engraved our initials, so Josh plus Anna Wolfman. It's our fingerprints right here, right under our names to show we were here, we did this, uh, we were here from the very beginning and literally our fingerprints are all over this home. saying that you are going to spend less money building your home. You're probably going to same, spend the same amount of money. If your budget is a million dollars, you're probably still going to spend a million dollars. The difference is what you're going to get for that same million yeah. dollars. Let me give you a simple analogy um, of, of, of the value equation. So let's say you're in the grocery store and you want to you wanna get a whole bunch of fruit. So you see one option is to get the fruit carousel. It has a few different compartments. You've got some strawberries, maybe some grapes, some pineapple, some cantaloupe, um, and some watermelon. It's all chopped up in a container, ready to go. You ring it up, it's about $15. Option B, okay, you walk down the aisles, you pick your own pineapple, you pick your own watermelon, you get the best looking strawberries, you get the grapes, you get everything individually. You ring it all up, it's the same $15, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. But you need to come home, you need to wash all these things, you need to cut all these things, you need to spend time chopping everything up, you need to lay it up. The reality is, the amount of fruit that you're going to be getting at the end of the day is significantly more, okay? But you have to go through a much longer process, you have to invest the time, you have to do the picking, you have to do the thinking, you gotta put it together, package it in a container, and you will have more cleanup at the end. So more work, but at the end of the day, the amount of fruit that you got for the same $15 is significantly more. Yeah, we were listening to a podcast the other day and it was talking about something called the success tax. And I thought that was a brilliant way of putting it. It's basically, what are you willing to do in order to get what you want. Those were the things we were willing to do to ultimately get this end product, and man, was it worth it. Truthfully, we would never have been able to afford what this house is valued at right now. So the value is, is all in the work and then the process. That was the value that we were able to put into it to now something is worth so much more, and we've paid a fraction of the price of what it's currently worth. amazing thing about building a custom home is, you guessed it, the customization. The beautiful thing about designing it from scratch is that you get to build everything exactly how you want it. We wanted open space concept, that was so important for us. Um, we designed everything else around this fundamental part of our home. The reality is you get to design the floor plan in a way that works for all your family needs and, that, and how you see yourself using the space. Um, you will not be able to get something in a different house um, quite the same way as that level of customization. 
And then you can also customize every single finish. You know, people have asked us, what's our favorite part of our house? When you build a custom home, you have all the favorite parts of your house because you did every room exactly how you wanted to do it. When you get to walk into a house and you get to have everything be designed in the way that you like it, if you like a certain color scheme, if you like a certain style, a little more modern, a little bit more transitional, maybe all the way traditional, whatever you like, you get to build it exactly to your liking, exactly to your specs. The reality is when you buy a house, I mean, it's amazing if you can find like a turnkey home where everything is gorgeous and it really speaks to your style and you love what they've done. Once you kind of are in the space, you're likely going to find a few things that like, oh, they didn't quite think to put a plug here or, you know, where's this light switch or, you know, the sound is a little squeaky or the temperature control is not great. You will kind of feel some of the impact of the decisions that were made by other home uh, builders um, when you when you move in and are actually a little bit more in the space. Yeah. You know, and, and you might come into a house and you might say, I don't really love the finishes. I now need to change the kitchen cabinetry or I might need to, to get, um, you know, there's not enough light, there's not enough windows. When you get to build your custom home, you get to do everything that you love in whichever way you love it. Um, and that's what you get. Okay, so the next point on our list is that everything is brand new. Okay, this is really an incredible thing when you're building your own house, yeah. right? You, you, you know that you're the first person to sit on that toilet. <laughs> you know that you're the first person to take a bath in that bathtub. That's kind of a nice thing, yeah. right? But not only that, is every, you, from a maintenance standpoint, there are so many things that you're not gonna have to think about. You know, when you move into a house that's been built by someone else, the, you, you don't know how much life is left in the roof. You don't know how much life necessarily is going to be left in the furnace. You don't know, um, you know, are you still going to have a warranty on your appliances? All these things you don't even have to think about when you move into your house. You have brand new appliances, all with warranty. You have a brand new roof that's probably 15 years before you even have to think about anything with that roof, right? You have a brand new furnace. So furnace and, furnace and air conditioner, you're not even going to have to think about that stuff. And if something ever does go wrong with that, you have it under warranty. So it's really an incredible thing to be able to have a space where, you know, from a maintenance standpoint, there's not really anything you're going to have to do for quite a while. And honestly, like that's something that you're also going to have with when you get a, um, a home from a developer. It's, it's an equal perk that you get to have knowing you're the first homeowner, which is really, really great. But the extra added benefit of because it's a custom home is you know specifically the shingles you selected and what kind of lifetime do they have. Yeah, ex exactly. To Anna's point, you know the quality of what you're putting into your home. Okay, so the next point that we're going to talk about is that you're going to have a more efficient home. You know, every year there are new, um, the, the building department creates new code to be able to make your home more efficient and more and, and, and safer. Ultimately, you know, you're going to have the most up to date things in your house in order to make your home very efficient. You're going to be able to decide what things you want to invest in to make your monthly expenses cheaper going forward. Yeah. You know, so for us, it was very important for us that we put in, we wanted to put in triple glaze windows. We wanted to put in a 98% efficient furnace. We wanted to put in LED light bulbs throughout the house. We roughed in our, uh, our alarm system. You know, so these are all things that, yes, it requires a little bit more money up front, but ultimately now our bills going forward are very, very minimal because we have such an efficient home. Yeah. When you're building your home, you can decide if you want to invest that extra few thousand dollars up front to lower your monthly bills. Um, ultimately, it's probably going to depend on how long you think you're going to be in that home for. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe so that you can keep getting content and great tips on everything there is to do with the process of building your own custom dream home.